Hello, I'm Jeff Jones and welcome to my hopefully brief feature explainer of the new browser notification feature that comes in Ampin Bar Request for Windows EPM 8.6. So what is the browser notification feature? Uh, let me explain. So uh, to help me, I'm going to show you uh, my desktop. And uh, here we have on the left hand side, um, uh, the portal uh, where you obviously you can configure this feature, turn it on and off. And on the right hand side, I've actually got two uh, desktops, two endpoints. Um, one endpoint here you can see running 8.5, so that's without the new feature. And on the left hand side, we have an endpoint running 8.6, that's with the new feature. So I can show you the difference in behavior with and without this functionality enabled, so you can see actually what it does. Okay, so what is this feature all about? Well, actually, it's due to a sort of peculiarity with how uh, Windows and browsers handles files that users download that then need to run perhaps with privilege. So it actually doesn't affect, um, even with App and Bar Request installed with 8.5, users downloading files that don't need privilege. So for example, if I open uh, Chrome and I want to download Putty, you know, Putty being a you know serial console tool, you would never run Putty as App in, or I don't think you would. Um, so if I go and click on that link, I go and click on Putty in the little browser download bubble thing and Putty just launches. That's all fine. So the issue comes when I want to try and download something that needs Ampin rights to run. So here we have Rufus. So Rufus is a well-known USB formatting tool. Rufus is a manifest file, so it needs Ampin to run. So as a user, if I you know click on this file to download it um, and it displays in the browser kind of download bubble and I click it, what happens now is sort of unexpected. The user gets presented with this kind of UAC prompt, and of course they don't have privileged credentials, so they can't actually run Rufus like this. So what the user you know, is probably expecting to see is, uh, so if you click on the download thing and you'll see the little folder. So this is kind of like the workaround. You, you click on the folder, you show the folder in which that download is contained, and then you double click on the file you want to run, and then as a manifest file working like this, it would then, in this case, show the user a uh, the request page and the user would have to fill out the reason and then that may or may not be approved. But that that is sort of how it works now. So it's the issue is really is that the user is shown a sort of you know, unexpected UAC prompt and there's a workaround, but you'd have to educate the user as to how to do that. And you know, for, for our, from our side, we want to make EPM, uh, our product, as transparent as possible to the user. And that means that, you know, we needed to come up with a way that would, you know, make this, uh, the UAC prompt, uh, sort of uh, a non-issue and, and provide the user with, you know, a, a, maybe a better means of launching files that they download. So let's go and have a look at the system running App in BioQuest 8.6 and we can see how things are now different. So I'm going to start off uh, just by going to Putty again. So this is not a file that the user would need to run privileged, but even so, when the user goes to download Putty from this page, the bubble shows. But then watch, we have a new uh, notification here. It's a it's a it's quite a nice notification. It gives you the a little icon and it tells you the name of the thing that's being downloaded and asks you if you want to run it. So uh, super simple. You click on Run Now. So this, this is not a file that needs admin rights to run. So, you know, we're not going to try and run it as admin. And you can see here that it just launches just as if I'd gone up to the top and clicked the bubble and it started there. So really, I suppose, um, even for non-privileged actions, we're giving the user maybe a slightly easier way to launch files they download, you know, from, from the browser. The, the real benefit comes when the user is trying to download something that does need privilege. Okay, so um, let's go now and try and download Rufus uh, from here. Click on that, down it comes. And then shortly after again, we get the, 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 the new uh, notification prompt and which hangs around, you can see a lot longer than that browser download bubble. So actually I think this is, this is more intuitive and I just have to click run now. And because this is a manifest file, admin bar request then takes over and the user would then need to uh, send that notification, send that uh, request through and it may or may not be approved. And if uh, you'd had the vendor, you know, or the hash, uh, what we call pre-approved or whitelisted, or you'd had machine learning enabled, then you wouldn't get this notification screen. 
the, the user would able to would be able to go ahead and elevate that file. Perhaps you've got MFA authentication um, enabled, so the user would have to still pass MFA before that file was allowed to be elevated as well. So, so really, um, that is. I mean, it's a, a kind of gloriously simple um, add-on to eight point six in terms of functionality. But I think actually it adds a, a lot of usability, and I think a lot of a lot of you users out there will be very pleased to see. Um, that we've improved the user experience when it comes to downloading files and running them from the browser, whether or not they are or that they do or do not require privilege. Um, so I did mention this this setting is something you couldn't configure. Um, so with 8.6, this functionality is going to be enabled as default. Um, so to, to change that, uh, turn that feature on and off, you could go into the global settings up here, go into, uh, I believe, lockdown, um, run as admin, and then you can see here, disable notifications, you can turn that on or off uh, globally. Um, now, uh, you could turn it on, on and off globally. Uh, you could then also, uh, just as you can with any other setting of ours, you can go into a sub-setting and perhaps enable it for a sub-setting, so that, that could be enabling it for um, a, a group of pilot users that you want to you know, test the functionality on before you roll it out to the entire organization. So really, um, yeah, that's just a, it's, it's literally one one thing to set here, and really that's it. Um, the the feature will be turned on, or um, as mentioned, it will be on anyway by default. And as soon as you update to eight point six, um, you'll be able to benefit from this functionality. So I think that's really uh, that's really it. That is um, the new uh, browser notification feature coming in Abin Bar Request eight point six. Great, see you later. Cheerio, bye.